Adam, I got to ask you this question with so much at stake. Why do they have to conduct the census now? Why not put it off like everything else? Yeah, it's a great question, Bruce, and there are a few good reasons. First, it's in the Constitution. It's got to happen every 10 years. It's happened going back to 1790. Second, here's the best way I can explain why it's so important. All that federal stimulus money that's going to be headed to states and cities, so it's all based on population population numbers that were calculated from the last census in 2010. So let's say, hypothetically, Maryland has, I don't know, a million more people than it had in 2010. Well, we better get them all counted or we're going to miss out on a whole lot of money. Every 10 years, an army of census workers go door to door in the U.S. to make sure every American is counted. The census dictates the billions and billions of dollars in federal funds that flow down to the local level for social services, for schools, for roads, um, for things that impact people's lives. I talked to the Census Bureau's Michael Cook about how the COVID-19 pandemic has altered its mission. We have delayed and suspended some of our operations. Um, we are not going door to door or doing any of our field operations out of abundance of caution. A grim reality, projections about how many Americans will be killed by the virus. One estimate reveals a quarter of a million people in the U.S. could die. How accurate could the census truly be if we lose 250,000 people by the end of the year? So when you fill out the census, please be mindful of what your household looks like on that day and fill out that census. And regardless of what happens after that point in time, that is the official count. Let me start by reminding D.C. residents that today is National Census Day. So I'm going to start by reminding you to fill out your census forms. It takes less than 10 minutes to complete, uh, and it's very easy to do. D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser knows how important the census is. She doesn't want to see the district get robbed of even more federal money. The census taker will go through the 10 easy questions with you and record your household's information on the form. If you haven't already submitted your census form, you'll see something pop into your mailbox any day now. Between April 8th and April 16th, you should expect to receive a questionnaire if you haven't responded to the 2020 census. We ask that you go ahead and self-respond. You can either go online and do it at 2020census.gov on phone, or you can just mail that questionnaire back to us. So in the 2010 census, 74% of U.S. households mailed in their forms. That's according to census.gov. The website also indicates that more than 69 million people, 46.7% of America, has responded to date. Now, a Census Bureau representative told me today that field operations are suspended until April 15th at the earliest. Now, there is some fascinating data from the Census Bureau on which states, counties, and cities have the best response rates right now. That's on my Facebook page at Adam Longo TV. And according to that data, congratulations, Falls Church, Virginia. You are eighth in the nation with a 64.9% response rate so far. Adam Longo, WUSA 9.